So mm-hmm. I'm not afraid because I hold myself to a, such a high standard. I hold myself accountable that like, I feel okay calling people out on their bullshit because if they come back to me, I want them to hold me accountable. If I'm slipping up, I want it, bring it. Cause I know I hold myself to a standard. And if I'm slipping, let me know so I can pick it up. If I have blind spots, let me know so I can pick it up. Most people don't do that. They don't take care of their own agenda. They don't take, hold their, themselves accountable. They don't have high standards. They're not assessing their situation constantly. And that's why they say it's hard. When mm-hmm. it comes to me, I told my, my, my partners, guys, you're going to have a hard time outworking me, but I challenge you to outwork me because we're not going to have a situation where I'm coming to you guys and saying you're not doing this and this and that. And you have to come to me and say, hey, you, well, you're not doing it because it's not going to happen. I'm committing right now that I'm going to outwork you guys. I'm going to make sure that I'm elevating and staying ahead of you guys in knowledge, leadership ability, all of that. But, in, in, and then I'm going to hold you guys accountable. And I say it to my wife too. And now my wife, she's as hard headed as I am stubborn. And she doesn't always listen to me or say she's listening to me when I tell her something or like, Hey, this is how you should do this. Um, sometimes she'll push back or act like she knows. And then I see her implement it later on. But I'm not afraid to just because I'm going to might hurt somebody's feelings or, you know, they might get offended. I don't worry about that because at the end of the day, my mission is all people are unstoppable to live in their life with the dreams. And if they're not held accountable or shown blind spots, they're not going to be unstoppable. 100%. So if somebody, if somebody were to come to you, right, and they're struggling, I guess, how, how did you, because obviously you did it for yourself, but then I'm curious how to help somebody else. Cause it seems the biggest thing is a mindset shift, right? Like that's the first part is a lot of people, it is like the daily struggle and that's what's in their head. Rather like what you're saying is not yeah. putting it in your trunk. So I guess, how would you walk somebody through that? Well, the first thing is taking hundred percent responsibility for where you are in life. Like where you are right now is your fault. Everything you said in the past did or didn't do uh, your attitude, where you, your environment was like, all that is your fault. Now, not everybody will take that responsibility and, and admit to that, but until you do, you're stuck. Yeah. To the degree you give up responsibility, you give up control. And mm-hmm. so that's the first step is making people really understand that they got to be responsible for where they are. And the good news is, is that their future is di- going to be dictated on what they do from here on out. Then from there, they have to figure out what life they want to live. Like, where, what's your ideal life? Like, where, in a perfect world, if you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? And don't limit yourself. Write it down. Get very clear on it. Visualize it. And then set your core purpose or mission off of that. And then filter everything that you do in life, your thoughts, your words, your actions. Everything goes through that to make sure you're going towards that instead of away from it. I talk about rocket fuel a lot, Tyler, but I don't talk about rocket science. I like to make things simple. It's either going building or destroying, living or dying, going towards my dreams or away from it. And once you do that, life becomes very simple.